back to another ROM review. Finally, we have Castle OS 2.1, another update, and some changes has been made in that build. And before I'm going to show you the full review, I am going to show you the full flashing process because some of you guys uh, always keep asking me what, where is the installation video. So that's why I'm making the installation video before uh, going to the full review. So watch first how to install our custom ROM. Any custom ROM you guys can follow, and I always try to provide. Uh, genuine videos and uh, i didn't added uh, previous videos the installation videos because uh, installation all are same so that's why i don't want to waste your time by showing this but still some people keep asking me how to install uh, if i in, uh, include the installation in the video then it would be better so that's why i'm going doing this so let's get started first of all click on the web section and select dalby data cache system and vendor and suppose you're flashing uh, any ROM on other devices then of course you can follow the same process if you yeah uh, you are using orange fox recovery or any kind of recovery but uh, the options wipe options you are, you don't have the Dalvik option you don't have the system option you don't have the vendor option just you have the data and cache partition of course you can delete the data and cache partition then you can flash the rom that's a simple process then after flashing the rom just go to format data then type yes and format data you are good to go and then reboot your device your flashing process will be done okay let me swipe this now when you are done go to format data type yes when you are done just go to three dot menu then type to reboot then recovery i'm not doing this because it is it's good if you do it's better but uh, if you don't want to do it it's not a mandatory process now navigate to the folder you have downloaded your files that means your room file and casa OS always comes with vanilla build uh, we do not have any g apps built so if g apps is included then flash the room and reboot if you don't have the g apps build then of course you need to flash the g apps separately so here is the room android 10 and casa here is that and android 10 vanilla build you guys can see and i'm flashing the rom first then i will flash the g apps if you want to flash simultaneously one by one then you can do that or if you want to add to queue that means automatically it will flash the rom first and then it will flash the g apps first then click on add to queue and find out the g apps you have here is the nick gap score i have i'm selecting that both will be installed together after rom it will be flashed that means g apps rom already flashed now g apps is flashing here you can see the nick gaps all process has been done rom g apps both already flashed now click on reboot system and wait until your device boots up so Casa OS boot animation is like that and it's booting. For installation video here is the full review of Casa OS 2.1 and let's get it started with every single details. So don't skip the video. First of all let me show you from the settings and about section. As usual Casa OS always Android version 10 and Casa version 2.1 and maintainer name Liz Real Dev. Correct me if I am pronouncing the wrong word. So really thanks to him for building this one and we are getting day to day update and this is really really very important for a device. And of course we have OnClight Android security update from March very latest uh, 5 and kernel use here GFL caramel kernel which is a custom kernel and really capable just like lineage OS. So see Linux status and forcing and build number and other things are available and let's talk about settings what we have here of course this is a vanilla build so we always get a usb keyboard if you need the google keyboard download it from play store 
that's it and i always recommend you guys to use the nick gap score for any android 10 11 12 and 13 custom rom you guys can try this out and i always prefer this i personally use so that's why i'm suggesting you and then we have the security option we have all latest features though it is android 10 we have all kind of features the features included in that cursor was i think that's good enough for us and we don't need any extra customization for that for a custom rom or for an android user here is the fingerprint face unlock and app lock everything is available and everything is present and perfectly working no issues and then we have the display option as usual everything is perfectly working and we have here the game driver preferences and if you want to change it you guys can do in a particular application enable for all application also this option available game driver and i don't recommend to use this one and when you play games just uh then try this driving change and then play game and of course you will get better performance i think and let me know in the comment section below if you play games then we have here the accent color can be changed and black cinnamon and green ocean space or orchid purple whatever then we have the icon shape as usual only two or three available here and display size is smallest width and font size can be changed then we have the battery option as usual the regular user interface is here design battery capacity and the current battery capacity and cycles completed battery temperature everything is available 35 which is normal i guess then let's talk about the network and internet section let's see we have the network changing options or not yes we have hues uh, network changing option which is preferred network type you guys can select any i'm always try to use uh, gsm only because uh, 2G because uh, I don't need the 3G, 4G anything because I'm always using uh, Wi-Fi and if you always use a uh, Wi-Fi then always try to use 2G and you will get better battery backup. Do you do better battery better backup? Of course you can uh, follow this process and if you are a data user then of course you can use 4G, 3G whatever let's talk about keep casa that means customization hub we have status bar quick settings patterns gesture lock screen notification animation battery miscellaneous everything is here and status bar traffic indicator perfectly working ticker status bar lyric and these are unusuals and every latest features is available i can say and which actually we need clock data and colored status bar notification icons bluetooth battery status fine then we have the quick status bar brightness slider show always and auto brightness brightness control qs drag handle qs footer text okay let's let me show you as it is android 10 of course we have the qs panel just like android 10 but we have some customization like this qs drag handle show qs footer handle uh, setting icons customized footer text can be changed and edit icons and color notification head headers icon privacy indicators if you need privacy indicators then of course you guys can enable that privacy indicator chip and i don't like it chip like that uh, date and clock chip here you guys can see on the top left corner just like that and we have data uses which is from android 13 feature and um, daily and monthly uses is available here then we have replace all clear text with OOS clear all button that means you can replace the buttons clear all text buttons uh, by using oxygen OS clear button so you screen view then disable screen view in quick settings if you want to and this is a good feature then we have the background opacity can be changed as usual uh, blur behind the uh, quite uh, quick settings here show blood bind in quick settings as usual title visibility and qs tint and rows and columns can be customized styles duration interpolator everything is there then we have buttons as usual here we have the system navigation but we don't have customization regarding the um, navigation bar that means navigation peel button actually we, we cannot increase or decrease the length 
then we have the answer call and control playback keyboard cursor control reorient show app volume uh, per app volume show app volume in volume panel you guys can do that thing and there's other feature then we have gesture just swipe to screenshot and jump to camera prevent ringing that's it lock screen lo lock screen we have some customization like status bar, battery info charging animation flash battery drop explosion water uh, we have some great animations are here while you want to charge then we have the fingerprint authentication double tap to sleep and everything is fine working and secure power man we can this is important feature allow power menu action only after authentication that's really really very important privacy focus thing then let's talk about the notification then we have animation just disable transition animation if you want to get uh, more faster then we have battery as user battery bar customization battery styles ios like i am using here right now ios style and battery styles uh, battery location battery percentage battery estimate everything is here then we have the important things which is miscellaneous you guys can suspend actions enable that feature of course action will be executed on screen off on screen on the previous state will be restored that's important thing and i don't need it and you can use that ad block feature and gaming mode allow application downgrade these are really really important features then we have the allow signature spoofing unlimited google photos storage and unlock higher fps in games now these are really really important features as it is android 10 but we have all the latest features so these are the things uh, i just wanted to show in keep casa that means customization hub now let's talk about the smoothness it's really really very faster than the earlier build this one is really improved and the fingerprint um, is changed to now coral but I don't recommend to use the Coral, you guys can uh, use the Pixel 5.1 uh, due to pass the safety net and this is the issue, let me show you only one issue is here because they change the fingerprint and we have the basic integrity pass but CTS profile match fail that means we have to pass the safety net uh, using magisk so this is a bit annoying but uh, I know uh, but the ROM is really really perfect and verb really bad smooth experience you guys will get in that room and of course gcam is perfectly working here you guys can see i already tested without any issue you guys can use it i'm using here the 8.4 and it's perfectly working no issues portrait videos and night side everything is fine but when uh, in this camera but just in this camera night side is not working but on other cameras it's, it's fine no issues with that you guys can choose any and here we have the um, by default a call recorder which is really really good you guys uh, can recall record without beeping and smoothness just mind-blowing now let me show you another thing which is from settings and we have the feature which is called okay let me find it hidden apps yes and this is really really important feature for some people and which is perfectly working and grid icons and everything is working here no problem with that and here is the QS panel and we have the, the uh, reading more dark mode input colors screen stabilization then we have the screen record there's a really really important features and perfectly working night light okay, let me show you that one night light is perfectly working no issues and reading mode as well this one also working and here is the background chip of the date and clock and let me show you some screenshots okay these are not things and i got the cp throttle to 77 percent and battery backup is really really great because it found zero percent battery rain i kept the, i kept the device idle at night and i found in the morning the same battery and wi-fi was turned on because I never use data so that's why and these are the things are really really cool and if you guys want to use that ROM of course blindly you guys can use this one uh, if you have no issues with the Android version then of course blindly you can go with that one 
so i hope you guys understand everything if you if i miss anything then let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching